St. Patrick High School is Chicago's oldest all-boys Catholic high school. Since 1861, St. Pat's has been making a difference in the lives of young men destined to contribute to society in a variety of ways. Today, St. Pat's continues to provide the modeling, examples, encouragement, friendship, and tools these young men will need to graduate and succeed in their personal and professional lives. At the end of the day, when you think about what we're trying to do at St. Pat's, nobody falls through the cracks at St. Pat's. And I think everybody gets a lot of individual attention. Um, kids come out of there feeling good about themselves. One of the innovations that we've done, and you know, the board took a risky move, what was perceived as a risky move, was doing the drug testing program. You know, seeing a lot of kids and, and understanding what it's like to grow up in the city of Chicago, and having, again, teenagers myself, having the ability to be part of a drug testing program, giving the kids the opportunity to say no with that reason, it's very powerful, and I think that's embodies St. Pat's in many respects because as a board and as a faculty administration does a lot to keep not only education and academics and sports, all those traditional things at the forefront, but the school does a great job about you know changing with the social climate and culture and what these kids face, certainly a lot different than when I graduated back in 77. And that's why I have a lot of passion for the school because you don't have to be the rock star captain of the football team or the valedictorian. Everybody comes out of there a shamrock, feeling good about themselves. And I think kids are given the tools necessary to succeed in whatever walk of life they want. And being part of that and understanding that mission and passion is what drives me as a passion to the school um, to support it any way I can. And I think that's the whole thing. I think St. Pat's gives you that, um, that sense of to give back to the community. You know, you've, you've got something from them, but you know, to, to give back. I, I love St. Pat's, that's why I come back. I'm, I'm glad I'm an alumni. I could have went to Lane Tech or St. Pat's and uh, I'm glad I chose St. Pat's. I, that's, I, I think that really made that right direction uh, for me, especially being not only a police officer, but for my doctorate degree. I wanted to give something back to the school, and so I decided to start a writing scholarship. What I've done over the last 11 years, uh, not only have I been involved with the Public Relations and Marketing Committee at the school, but one thing I'm very proud to have done and, and very proud to still be involved in, about 11 years ago I started a writing scholarship uh, called the Quinn Nelson uh, Writing Scholarship, named after two of my former teachers, one that is still at St. Pat's, Mr. Paul Quinn, and also Jack Nelson, who is deceased. Then money prizes are given out to the best freshman and sophomore, and the best junior and senior, and the money that they win must go toward their tuition. So it's not based on grades, it's based on this extra work that they have decided that they've wanted to do because writing is important to them. And it's been very fulfilling to see how many people have been involved in the program. And what's very nice is every year uh, they send me thank you cards and they tell me how great it was to be involved and how appreciative their parents are to have, have, have uh, gotten the extra money for the tuition, especially in these economic times. So uh, I feel very proud of that. And, uh, and very happy to give back because I do believe that St. Pat's has given me quite a bit and so any way that I can give in time or in uh, disposable income, uh, I think I'm making a very good investment uh, in the future of this city and the future of this country. Thank you, we appreciate all your loyalty and support. Shamrock Pride is not just a, a phrase. It's something that you can have with you, not only when you got your diploma you know, some years ago, but you can still have that shamrock pride today. 